Hello everyone, this is Jacob Goji here, and today I'm going to be doing another toy review. So today we're going to be reviewing the Playmates 11-inch Kong 2017. So this Kong is from the 2017 film Kong Skull Island. Yep, and this is, and then God, Kong's going to fight Godzilla this year in Godzilla vs. Kong. So I got this guy at Walmart for um, $20 along with the... Um, the 12 inch Final Wars Godzilla. And I'm going to be honest, this figure looks really good. I mean, I mean, Playmates pretty much did a really good job. I mean, this is one of the better figures that Playmates made. Like, I mean, like the if you look at the Playmates Shin Godzilla, it just looks like the NECA Shin Godzilla and the Space Godzilla Godzilla just looks horrible. But this is one of the better ones they made. Well, I don't have the 6 inch scale Kong yet, but I mean, you know, I have the 11 inch Kong. Alright now, let's get started with the review. First, let's start off with sculpt and paint. So the head sculpt looks pretty good, but it's not completely accurate because, you know, I mean, if you look at the, the paint job, he's mostly painted a light brown, and then and the eyes are painted orange. The paint job on the eyes look really good. Yeah, but, and then the, the top of the face is painted, light, painted like a dark gray but the only problem is that they did not paint the ears gray because they're painted black and the bottom of the mouth gray as well yeah I kind of wish they did that and then the teeth the teeth are painted a bright yellow well there's kind of like teeth like the paint the teeth paint bleeding through the like the mouth and then the mouth is painted like a mostly a dark it pinkish red but the only thing I, I kind of wish they did I kind of wish they kind of painted some pink on the on the top of the teeth yeah and then now moving down to the to the chest so the chest sculpt looks the chest sculpt looks pretty good and you can see Kong has the claw marks like he did in the movie got the gray the light gray ones and the chest is painted gray which is pretty good yeah it looks really good and then now for the arm sculpt so like you can see like the muscles and then and then the hands are painted black I don't know why they chose to paint them black. I kind of wish they paint them gray. Yep. And then the leg sculpts look really good. I mean, they they look like how they how they are in the movie. And then the the, the bottom of the feet are like painted black. Like like here's the thing. I kind of wish they just painted the toenails gray. But you know, I know this is a kids toy and it's not bad. So overall, sculpt is really good. And the paint job is pretty good as well. For articulation for this guy, he only has 7 points of articulation. So, as you can see, the head can move. The arms can move. And then, uh, the, the hands can move as well. Yeah, you can rotate the hands. And then... You can rotate the legs so that the legs can move and the feet can move as well, but they're a little bit stiff. So, yep, so that was all for articulation. Now for size comparison. So I'm only going to size them up with the 12 inch figures. So the first one I'm going to size them up with is the Bandai Creation 12 inch Kiryu. Now as you can see right there. Kong and, and Kiryu, they're pretty much the same size. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, the giant spike right there kind of doesn't count. I'm not sure. Yeah, but as you can see, Kiryu and Kong are the same size. Yep, that was the 12 inch Kiryu. The next figure we're going to size them up with is the Playmates Godzilla 2004 12 inch figure. Now, as you can see right here, well, I got this one at, at Walmart, like uh, the Kong. I got them both at Walmart. And as you can see, the final Goji and Kong, they're the same size. Yeah, like, I mean, because, I mean, when you measure them, they're pretty much, like, I mean, they're the same size. But I was expecting Godzilla to be a little bit taller. Well, kind of, Kong, when you look here, Kong kind of looks ta taller than Godzilla, but, but I don't think so. Well... They're, they're both the same size. Well, keep in mind, 
I'm gonna review this guy soon, so, yep. And finally, we're gonna size him up with the Jack Specific 12 inch Godzilla 2019. Yep, so, so they go, and I'm gonna be honest, they go perfect together. Yeah, I mean, Kong and Godzilla are almost the same size, and I believe this might be the size for Godzilla vs. Kong. Yep, and I'm, I might do a toy battle with these guys soon. Yep, they go perfect together. Well, I mean, Kong's still missing his beard. Yep, but they still go really good together. So, yep, so that was all for size comparisons. Time for my final thoughts. So, what do I think of this figure? Well, overall, this figure's really good. Well, I really like its sculpt and, and paint job. Well, the paint job is pretty good, but... The paint, it just needs a better paint job, that's all. Well, you know, overall it's a great figure, and I recommend you guys getting this figure, because it's just really cool. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this review. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.